<laughs> well, we got a big show today. <laughs> It's a freedom to be yourself and say what you want and know oh. that the intent is good. If you're just trying to make each other laugh and be giggly, then that then it then it takes all the all the bad away. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for Balls Out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. It's so cartoonish. Yeah. And stupid and ridiculous that I'm, I think it's humorous. Oh, fuck, this is gonna be laughs all night. So I didn't get it until like yesterday. Get what? Um, But he has like a documentary or a show coming out. Genius, yeah. And I've been reading it for the past, like, like reading the title of it for the past two weeks in my head, like, what the fuck is that shit mean, Gene? It took you for it to took me two genius? weeks at least to realize that it genius, you know. I thought he was trying to say like uh, You're an idiot Jesus or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh good. I'm god. almost as dumb as Kanye. Yeah, seriously. Fucking fish Poop. dicks. Poop. Yeah. Yeah, fish dicks. Yeah. And you always pull me in with that one time and then it's Friday, people. Whoa! Yeah, Dude. it is. You're gonna release this tonight. Mm, you're gonna, you're gonna upload it tonight. Tomorrow. It's fri- It's Saturday, people. Patrons will get <laughs> Saturday. It's regular people. Monday. It's Monday, people. Or whenever you listen to this. This isn't fun anymore. Whatever okay. day it is. Fuck. I need to re-upload that drop. There's no bass or anything. I was surprised one. you didn't cancel tonight. It was snowing on the way here. Ah, oh, barely. Boom. Boom. Just kidding. It was snowing pretty bad Wednesday when we usually record timestamp, timestamp. Yeah, that's true. And I had drove in it all day. All day? All day? For FedEx. All day? <laughs> I like that drop. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Eric always hated that drop. I don't know what that is. It's too fun. You're fun. It's a fun drop. Okay. Uh, speaking of fun. What? I went and saw Jackass Forever. Oh, my gosh. And that movie is just bundles of fun. So you decided going down the avenue of not inviting me to go with you? See, the thing was, That's was nice. we were going to record Wednesday, and then I was going to get you to go after work tonight, but then mm. we had to record tonight. Oh, but then you coincidentally... Asked if we can move it to tonight, right? Because I couldn't so do it was, Thursday because uh, I was recording with my Eric. My fate was in your hands the entire time. You did not leave it up to anything but that. I was going to go last night. <gasps> I could have done that. There was bonus footage. Oh, I, I would have done that. I bought tickets. You got tickets and without then immediately, me? You bought, three? you bought three tickets. No, you could have bought a seat next oh. to us. <laughs> I would have shown you yeah, where right. we were sitting. Yeah, that's cool. I'm sure it didn't but hook I'd, up real fast. But as soon as... I bought the tickets. I realized I was recording with Eric and couldn't use them. Oh, so you didn't offer to give them to me or anything? So no, just I like, didn't think about that at all. Just like 20 bucks down the drain or whatever. Yeah. Nice. That's <laughs> really cool. <sighs> you're, you're awesome. That's true. You're really cool. I know. I know. <sighs> all right. What, what's the news, man? About what? I don't know. What you got for me, home dog? All right, that's chill. That's chill, dude. <laughs> Speaking of jackass. Oh, yeah. That's what we were talking about. How uh, was it? Was it fantastic? It was great. Yeah. I did. I really enjoyed it. It's, yeah. it's nonstop laughs. It's like all the other jackass movies. Was, how long was it? Like an hour and a half? Hour 45. Ooh, that's a decent uh, length of uh, yeah. run time, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's buttloads of stunts jammed into I that. I bet motherfucker. there's buttloads of butts in it, too, isn't there? Buttloads of dicks. <laughs> I've always wanted to see other dicks on the big screen. Yeah, I'd like love to see my dick on the big screen. Really I would not. I'd yeah. like. To, I I would love to see your dick in general. Uh, oh, not anymore. Yeah, it's it's wet now. Ooh. Your balls, back of your balls are all fucking dripping. But have you seen the tra- or the poster with this on it? This picture with Knoxville getting hit by the bull. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I have. He's like upside down. Yeah. Legs all everywhere. He was uh, on Howard Stern recently, 
And apparently he got a brain hemorrhage from that. And so his cognitive abilities were in steep decline so bad that his uh, he was unable to maintain his attention span. On one test, he scored 17 out of 100. Wow. Uh, let's see. You guys gotten a lot of dings to the head, dude. He had to undergo all these types of treatments, uh, which they buzz your head with magnets for about 30 minutes. He would say 10 to 12 treatments over a series of two months, and it's supposed to help with depression and cognitive skills. Wow. Yikes. Damn. So my brain was playing tricks on me. I got really depressed and over-focused on things. Aye, aye, aye. I love Johnny Knoxville. He's great. Yeah. I love. He's the, just a blast. The gray <laughs> hair he's rocking too. It's it's gorgeous. See or white hair, whatever the fuck. Yeah, you call is it. do you think that's his natural hair color now, Hell or no. is that dyed that's that way? Dyed. Okay, it's gotta be dyed because half the movie he has black hair, half the movie he has white hair. It's crazy. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's stupid. That's not even like that's horrible continuity. Well, I'm guessing it's because Absolutely they horrible. filmed it over like a year and a half. Oh, God. Is Bam in it at all? Mm-mm. Do they ma- mention Bam at all? Nope. No mentions? Mm-mm. What about Ryan Dunn? Yes. Oh, that's... Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. no Bam at all, huh? No, what, no what, Bam. What's up with Bam? He's suing him. Is still. He still suing him? Yeah, I think there was uh, articles as late as December, so... Uh, he wouldn't have been fun to make a movie with, but, like, why wouldn't they? What? Like, well, like for them, he wouldn't. Have yeah, been, probably for like them because how he old been they are right and now, everything. and like how far they are in their yeah. lives, I guess, and sober yeah, for the most true. part, at least. Yeah, I think Knoxville still parties hard. Uh, yeah, probably, but he still knows how to like keep his cool, I guess. But, That's true. Yeah. Um, Time to open up. I don't know. Beer. It's like they they cool. made the first two or whatever with Steve. Oh, oh, the like first two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, wasn't yeah, it? yeah. He was. Yeah. I don't know. Drugs. Was he? Were they originally filming with Bam? Yes, yeah, they started filming with Bam, right now. but they took all the stunts that he was in out of it. Oh, wow. And apparently, he says that they used some of the stunts that he wrote or came up with. So that's why he's suing them. Well, um, I bet you there's a clause within a clause somewhere that says, "Ah, uh-uh, no way." Santa, Jose. <laughs> oh yeah, he's checking that list twice. I bet you. Bam's what are you, do- been what are you naughty, doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Plugging in my phone. Oh God, you scared me. You I died s- before I came over. You really scared me, dude. Sorry, man. Oh God. Uh, t- did you watch that new oh. documentary on Netflix called Tinder Swindler? Um, I no. Did oh, you watch man. anything I've ever fucking suggested to you? Yeah, I watched. Uh, what was that? Uh, the Puppet Master. The do- documentary oh, on Netflix, one? yeah, the three part okay. series. Well, then I'm sorry for the snark. And that was really good. Snark, snark. Yeah, you got to watch Tinder Swindler. Though. It's, it's like a really movie, good. though, isn't it? It's an hour forty or hour fifty, and it's a it's not a movie. It's a documentary. It's a documentary. M- movie though, it's yeah. not like three parts. Like Correct. Other ones. Yes, it's a movie. <sighs> Very good. And Very good. About uh, women get had and give him tons of money. <laughs> Over Tinder? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's how he meets them. There was an article that came out like in 2018 about him or something like that. It's called the Tinder Tinder Swindler, and it kind of uh, ruined his game for a while. So he's swindling on Tinder. And he's threatening to sue over this new documentary. Oh, who the fuck isn't trying to sue over shit these days? Yeah. I'm upset. (sighs) <sighs> I want to find a reason to sue somebody so I can just like not have to worry for the rest of my life. I wanted to sue my company over when I uh, almost had that near death experience with the with the high low falling off the back of the <sighs> semi truck. Oh yeah, but it was. But I didn't get hurt. Death. It was yeah. near death. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. That's where they get you. I need to get injured or something. Yeah, we need to probably cut this whole like probably. <laughs> two minutes out because why i mean just further down the road if anything happens to us they're gonna go back to this audio and they're gonna be like oh they set this up i guarantee and we're gonna go to court and it's gonna be thousands and thousands of dollars i'm gonna have to hire like a city prosecutor oh it's gonna be like well those are free but not free but i still pay my taxes god damn it put that part out 
I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Whatever. Let's continue that conversation about whatever we were just <laughs> talking about. All right. <sighs> yes. Did you have anything oh my uh, God. crazy going on? You talking on this to week? me? Yeah. No, dude. I had the like the the chillest week ever. Bill's, That's awesome. Bill was gone all week. Oh, really? Yeah. So like my butthole wasn't clinched for five whole days. Wiki, 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 boom. Except for when I had to poo and what I was wasn't Bill in the gone right doing? space, you know. He was on uh was on assignment for the Super Bowl. Oh, interesting. Was yeah. he at Radio Row or whatever? Uh, he's on assignment no, for the Super Bowl. Radio Row, it wouldn't be until next week. Did you know that the Super Bowl is next week and not this week? Yeah, I knew that. I did not know that. I thought that it was this week, and I was texting my texting people like, what are you doing? Yeah. And I was like, my girlfriend was like, I don't think it's this week. Uh-uh. Sure enough, the Pro Bowl is this week. Senior Bowl, uh, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I think it's the Senior Bowl. Pro Bowl. That's what they've been calling it. Really? Why? Yeah. A bunch of old people? Senior Bowl. Seniors, pros? Senior pros? Senior pros. I don't know. Uh, don't ask me. What? But yeah, somebody's been filling in. Um, he lives in like in Toledo, actually. So filling in remotely, and I'm, oh. I'm running the board all week. Which nice. Has been fun. What's his so, name? Anthony Bellino. Bellino. He, he's on. Uh, Does he have a uh, the what? morning show? X's and Bros. X's and Bros. Yeah, bro. Wow. He's a good dude. Bros he's, before hoes. He's about our age. Oh, really? He has like a million fucking jobs. Oh, I think you say a million fucking dollars. Oh, probably. Like he has like, he works, uh, he does like the halftime stuff at Lions during the Lions uh, games. Damn. He um, does PA for Michigan uh, basketball, men and women's. Damn. He does like PA for the Toledo Mud Hens or something, a baseball team. He does his morning show. I know. <laughs> I'm just it's like, but he has a fuck ton of jobs. I'm like, how that's do you, crazy. How do, you, how do you do it all? Yeah, juggle it all. Like a lot of Adderall and meth, or what? Yeah, I don't, I don't sleep till Brooklyn. Yeah, but it was. Uh, yeah, it was good. Oh yeah. So, what are you doing? Adjusting my headphones. <laughs> Jeez. So uh, the first day, like um, Anthony was like, "Oh, Bill's on assignment for the Super Bowl." Like he's. Uh, Getting ready for his docu series about being wrong about Matt Stafford. <laughs> nice. And I was like, "Oh, that's kind of funny, Anthony." Ha ha ha. And <laughs> after like the second time he said it, it was like he he told me that Bill actually told him to oh, say that all week. Really? And actually, what sparked it was Bill texting me saying, "Don't say I'm on vacation." Don't, okay. Don't say I'm on vacation all week. Like all week. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Yeah, that is weird. And then I laughed at Anthony's thing, and he's like, oh yeah, Bill told me to say that, and then he ended up saying it all week long, and I was uh, like, eh. got old. Yeah, it got real old, stale. Let's yeah. say yeah, stale like an old stale. bag of chips, like my grandma's vagina. <sighs> nope. I've been yeah, there. You looked, that. The, last you looked week. that up. Yeah, yeah, last week. Oh, actually, I was here Wednesday. <laughs> Her and I made our own little podcast. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it was. Pump day. It was really nice. Oh yeah, I bet. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh, we got some emails, Benny. Oh, that's right, we do. Yeah. I forgot about that. We got a couple. Robert sent two like back to back. I don't understand. Did he like make a mistake in the first one? Um, I don't know. We'd have to read them, Ben. That's. Um. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Robert, movies he sent and TV. the same one Be careful twice. with this message. Oh, God. What? Uh, look. It, this is riveting. We've got a warning before opening this message. Well, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to open oh, the says, second one. It says TB, meaning tuberculosis, meaning that oh. it's um, internet plague. Oh, okay. Cancer? No. Tuberculosis. Is, is tuberculosis? No, it's leukemia. All right, Robert sent an email. Uh, if you boys aren't caught up those. on Ozark, I highly recommend. Oh, I love that show. It's all right. The new season is okay. I'm uh, assuming it's going to be a sucked, better second half. You sucked all the life out of me right there. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, why don't you just keep reading? All right. Didn't realize they split the new season up, though, so I watched them all already. So, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to binge the first part, and then when the second part comes out, you binge that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Robert. What the Come fuck? On. Of course you're going to binge them if they're all out, you great man. 
Okay, I'm about to lose respect for this guy. We also nope. just finished Hawkeye. I liked Hawkeye. I you have watched the it. Utmost respect for him. Yeah, it's boring. You're boring. <sighs> You're not gonna understand anything in the Marvel universe. Some like coming up pretty soon. That's Hawkeye. That's that was really good. <laughs> that was a bullseye right that's, there. That's right. Keep reading. Uh, hot guy. No, Hawkeye. It was pretty. Oh. G- He's got jokes. <laughs> that's funny. That's- Hi-yo! Uh-oh, you better watch out. Kermit the Frog going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> He's certainly not my favorite Marvel character, but it was cool to see yeah. more of his story. I'd agree with that. Nope. 100%. It's definitely not my favorite. Jeremy Renner is not really my favorite either. I don't care for him whatsoever. Whoa. That's okay. That's okay. Not my type of guy. Um, let's see. Over the weekend, we watched The Eyes of Tammy Faye. What the fuck is that? Oh, this one actually looked kind of good. The Eyes of Tammy Faye. What's that on? Um... Wouldn't have been my pick, but it was interesting enough. Creepy ass Christian folks. I think it's on HBO Max or okay. Prime uh or Prime, yeah. Huh. Have you heard of Tammy Faye? No. She's like this old like evangelical I've heard of Tina Faye. Okay, that's not Hi Um like T V evangelism? Televangelism? So okay. You know what that is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where they like try like righteous gemstones. Exactly. Yeah. Where they're trying to take in money. Yes. That actually happened. Okay. And steal money and yeah. fucking, you know, What's lie on their one... taxes, all that bullshit. But the Tammy Faye and her husband were like really big in the 70s or 80s. Okay. For like tax evasion and stealing money from people. But they're a church. They don't have to. They took the money though. Ah, they okay. were like on TV for the church, yeah. whatever one that they had created themselves, and they're like, "Hey, call in, send send money for God, send a right. little money for Jesus, and a little bit for the Holy Spirit." <sighs> all those and, people uh, are crooks. This man. is all gonna go to a good good thing, like blah 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 blah. I guess we'd have to watch the movie to go get a little bit more, but it's uh, yeah, but you can pretty much tell it's a crux. It's uh, directed by Michael Showalter, who I really enjoy. So who does what has he done? He's been in. Um, Wet Hot American Summer is the he was, big one. Oh, okay. He's the main character, kind of. Okay. Yeah. All right. Really He weird, directed it, one. though? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have to check that out. I need to put that down. Did you see, have you seen the new series on Hulu called Pam and Tommy? Uh, no, but I've been anxious to see it. If for those and that don't I know, it's about Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. Lee Jones. Lee. Tommy Jones. No, just Tommy, Tommy Lee. Oh. Uh, about their sex tape that came out, which was Brett's favorite sex tape. I've never seen it. Where he drives the boat with his dick. Does he really? I think so. I've never seen it either. We should watch it. We should. before the You you gotta get uh, educated before you watch the TV series. You wanna watch it together? I guess. Put it on. I don't wanna put it on. Put it on while while we're recording the podcast. Well, don't get so nervous. I wanna watch it. Fuck. No, you don't have to. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a movie first that they were coming out with. Oh, really? For the longest time. Did I you didn't... know Seth Rogen's in it? Too? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Have you seen more pictures of the penguin from Batman yet? That's Colin Farrell. Nope. You haven't? I have not. You haven't seen one? Do you want to no. see one? Okay. What Colin Farrell looks like in, in the Batman? I've only seen short clips of the Riddler and Catwoman as far as right. the new so Batman So Colin goes. Farrell's paying playing penguin i thought they were gonna get jonah hill is what they had said before that's, like filming and that's started. really rude wow he said he didn't want to be casted by his weight anymore guys let's, let's be real it's the coolest it's the way i've ever heard in my entire life that's insane is it, um, can i hear it again do you have time that was, a good one. That was jonah hill there you go ah holy shit he does not look like colin farrell no i think that's the point yeah, he's he doesn't very, look like your typical very, very fat. And doesn't look like your uh, Danny DeVito penguin at all, though. Fat. He's like that's true. Just a little bit larger, very very ugly face, a little bald. His nose is like not not definitely not as big as DeVito's in that movie. I'd fuck him though, like just because he's what he's wearing. It looks like that Scotch tape, uh, you know, their logo where it's like green and it's got the black. 
Yeah. Um, like squares and stuff in it, but it's all blue, navy blue. I'd definitely fuck him in that. You are a legitimate fat dude. <sighs> yeah, he is. That's true. Ah! You got more Robert's I'm, I'm, email? I'm, I'm excited about that movie uh, the more yeah. I see previews for it. I are too. I are too. Which I was not expecting to happen. The first trailer I saw, I was like, okay, that's what I expected. Uh, it doesn't look that great. But then the more they show it and the more stuff they add to the trailers, it's like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm in, you've piqued my interest. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else Robert has to say. I've been trying to watch the new Cowboy Bebop. Ooh, I like that, Robert. What the fuck is that? Cowboy Bebop. Is it, he making fun of something? It was an old anime show. It had oh. one season. It's and boring. They did a live action version of it on Netflix. But as someone who grew up watching anime, I'm constantly judging the live action version. Which uh, I said the exact same thing like six weeks ago. That's true. When I watched you it. You were listening, Robert. Wow. <laughs> thinking things like, that's not how much, or that's not how that goes. You can't have the character do that. But honestly, it's really well done, and I like it. But I'm biased and will always be partial to the anime. That's respectable, Robert. Yeah, I, I agree. Love uh, what hey, you guys are doing. Like, Suck a dick or maybe help your friend jack it off. Okay, nice. bye. I like that. Hi-oh! Like that. Yes. I really like that. He's about to jack it. All right. Um, you should probably read the, the next one from, from Robert. That's the exact same thing. That's what I just read. I know. Oh. And then, like, if you like this version more than the last one, we can no. kind of play no, off no, no. the same the, jokes. The first one was uh, the one that had the careful message with tuberculosis. Oh, yeah. You should, you should not have done that. Here we go. The first, the first email about me doing a comedy oh. album. You just skipped an email. Do it, Ben. I'd buy it. Oh, nice. Good for you, dude. I skipped it. No, I didn't. There's Robert twice. Yeah, but then we got one from Mark Rollison. That's the comedy album. That's what I just read. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sad You're an idiot. I've been wrong before. All right. All right, Ben. That's and one there's, person. There's two from Benjamin Weller. You're not going to read the second part of Mark's email? Oh, 2022 Jesus. predictions. Love us. Rams win the Super Bowl. That's also one of mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, ben, mm-hmm. no radio job. Yep, that's one that's, of mine. That's going to be true. Uh, yep. Queen Elizabeth and stuttering John die. Uh huh. She's dead. And he's dead. I don't know who stuttering John is. He's from uh, the Howard Stern universe. Er, yeah, I think so. Sounds really not interesting at all. Uh, Bethany joins. FBHW, that's <laughs> definitely not going to happen. She lives in, I think, North Carolina. I love cats. And, uh, uh, and Brett Bones Kelly Cheese. Cool. I love that. I'd like to get to know her first, though. That's... You know what I'm saying? I'd like to gain like a mutual respect. Oh, wait, that's awesome. Take her, take her out, you know, for a night on the ta- uh, town a couple times. You know, all right, show that's her a good chill. time. Uh, Tell her she's beautiful. Daddy like. Be respectful. That's right. Um, you know, maybe toss you a couple. You look like a future pedophile. Whoops. T- oh, wrong draft. <laughs> <laughs> toss a couple texts back and forth and, you know. Glory hole. Really just. <laughs> I don't know why. Whoa. <laughs> you, you hit the wrong button there, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all true, though. I would definitely be a respectful man if that were to ever, like, happen. You like green hair? I'd love it, dude. Yeah. She looks Really, really banging. Apparently, she's very aggressive with the sex talk, is what she says. That's fine. Like she uh, asked one guy if she went if he wanted to eat pussy for lunch or something like. That. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I do need to definitely talk to her. I need to hit her up, but I gotta find Whoa. the right reason to. You know? Yeah. Yeah. True. 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 Yeah. You don't want to hit her up in the DMs because uh, she's been yeah, blasting people on. Yeah. On the show, but I also would not be a creep like like that one. That's true. Yeah. Also, calling her a whore on like Reddit or something, right? And, and then, then trying to hit on her, trying to to hit on her, like, hey, baby girl, like, come on, like, that's not how I would go about Perfect. things at all, man. 
All right, so there's some, so those are some good. Uh, if anybody wants some like good that, predictions, you know, has a connection to the show and like wants to just like quietly toss that along uh, to her, you know. Yeah. <sighs> Check out the big brain on Brad. Oh, so lonely. What? That's right. Uh, all right, Benjamin Weller has two emails also. Oh my uh, God, I you love take it. I love the content. Take yeah, I'd over. love to, Ben. I've been reading along with you the whole time. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 huh? Uh, do it, Ben. Do it. Play, play right now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go, go, go. I'm trying to. Okay. I'm going to. Re- that uh, was weird, uh, huh? There we go. <laughs> nice. This one's entitled. Entitled? That's my wiener. Titled. Damn, Damn it. it. Yeah. Uh, I like listen to Blake 182 song. Is that the one number? I guess if this is growing up. I guess this is growing up. Yeah, there we go. What's the H again? What's the H again? Ooh, that sounds horrible. All the small things. Ooh, update live coming at you. 900,000 900, COVID deaths. Oh, shit. Almost a million? That is. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's insensitive. That is. But have you listened to us before? Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Quenjamin says, I listen to you guys in the car, and oh. someone lost my aux cord. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I thought he got into a car. Oh, that, wouldn't that be a crazy like, turn of events? Yeah. <laughs> someone lost his aux cord. Whoa. Who? Who else was in his car? I'm Who's gonna, else was I'm going to guess that it was probably his his wifey. Hey. Yeah. Um, and then he goes on to say, uh, if you guys stop doing that. Yeah, I plug my phone into the car because I have an old ass Saturn. You got a problem with that? Well, let's fight. Ooh. No, I don't have Saturn. a problem with that, Benjamin, because no. I use an aux cord in my truck as well. I do in my Volkswagen as well. I don't recall fucking asking you. I'm just saying. I'm if just you're kidding. adding some input, yeah, I'm adding some input, the I'm, ox input. I can't. Hi, yo. I, I came at you pretty hard, man. I'm sorry. Ooh, about that. I like you coming at me hard. Oh. With an okay. Oh, um, oh, he says, I'm failing on the email front again, and I have no excuses. I ask for your forgiveness. I'll love you forever. Loser. Forever and ever. Amen. Wow. Wow. Ah. But then, like. One day later, mm-hmm. he sent us some more like Wenjamin Beller type email. It's like long. That's true. It's yeah, long. super it's like, long. It's three paragraphs. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but it's really tiny paragraphs. I hope so. Well, one's kind of an intro sentence. It's a lot of content. Um, Gotta love that content. Oh, it's Gotta shit. love the cricket. Actually titled another long email. Uh, he said, started watching Archive 81. This shit better be good, Mr. Glaze. Or it's yo ass. It was you that recommended this. I know. This. I know. Come on. When? If you don't fucking pay more attention to yeah, you suggesting seriously. these things, then you're going to get. You're going to get. Bump to number two. Yeah. Wait. He's <laughs> at number two, I think. Oh, okay. Robert's number one? Actually, Mark Rollison made his way up to number two. Because <laughs> of his uh, nice predictions? Yeah, his nice predictions. Banging and Kelly telling you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And telling yeah. you to do your thing. So. When's uh, uh he's at three right he's now. He's thin ice. Thin ice. Yeah. I think Amanda's still out there? No. no I mean, oh, definitely. <clears throat> um, he says, how are you guys going to podcast when old Bruddy Brett starts rapping Will Smith, Bienvenue Dos, a Miami, as he moves to Florida to live with that hooker he met on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> what was her name again? Uh, Carol, Cindy. Oh, I think it was Aaron. Karen. Aaron. Oh, it was Aaron. Yeah. It was yeah. Aaron. You want to call her? Should we call her right now? Let's call her from your phone, <laughs> so that she doesn't. Because she's. I'm in her phone. Like. Oh, really? Yeah. You are. Yeah. You're in. Yo. Yeah. Put the oh. bitch on blast. Um, Wen goes on to say, "You both need to watch a little series called The Beef House. You can nope. find." You can find it on Hulu and other platforms. Probably not Paramount Network. Okay. 
Uh, might be free online too. Fuck that. It's a short series. A short series? Like a like series of people? shorts? Oh. I thought this was going to be another oh. incident with uh, uh, pull it out of your pull ass. It out of your ass. Pull it out of your ass. What is his name? Uh, Brian. Brad. Oh, who played? Brad. No, from. Uh, Brad. From Brad. Game of Thrones. No, Brad. The one no. that you opened up for, Brad. Brad Williams? Yeah, that one. No, 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 no. Oh, Peter, Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. Yes. Uh, there, this has got a little dinkle dink. Yes. Uh, short series. <laughs> uh, he says, watch it all. You won't regret it. Went out. Okay. Hey, when? That was three paragraphs? Holy shit. Yeah, I'm... I'm Those were short paragraphs. Yeah, they, it was a long email, but it was short paragraphs. So I yeah. kind of gave you that indicator from, yeah. the, from the start. So. I, yeah, that's true. Um, also, we got one from Lauren Mertz. Who the fuck is that? Do you know these facts about Roe? Hmm. About, oh, Roe Ro versus Wade? Yeah. This the quiz is about Roe versus Wade, the Supreme Court decision that was arguably caused <sighs> more destruction in our, our country than any other. With over 63 million preborn children lost since 90, 1973. The decision happened almost 50 years ago, so chances are you may not know the details of what really happened leading up to this fateful decision. It did. Are you up to learning more? Take the quiz by clicking on the link before. Do you want to take the Roe v. Wade um, quiz? Oh, that drop really cracked me up. Yeah, it got me too. Uh, Do you want to? No. No? You didn't want to take the Roe v. Wade quiz? They're or? stupid. Oh, no. Quizzes. Which stupid. one, Roe no, or Wade? Quizzes. Oh. Yeah. That's right. Motherfucker. When Remember that reading? show last week that I told you about? No, I don't. It's called Murderville, where they ah, try to solve yes. a murder. Well, and, it's, not. Yeah. and it's like improv. Yes. I watched the first two episodes. And? Very enjoyable. Okay. It's, I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm just gonna they, set you up for that. Do they break it all? I, yes. I swear. Definitely, they break. I was watching the trailer for it. Like when you pull up the show on Netflix, mm. it's not a trailer. It's more like a clip from the show. Yeah. And I swear, the very end of the clip, uh, as it's cu as it cuts out, Will Arnett breaks character. Yeah. So and like, starts laughing. I've only watched two. The first one is Conan O'Brien. Oh. And the second one's Marshawn Lynch. What? Who's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's he's funny and just, stuff I've seen. I gave him a baby stiff arm. <laughs> Came around, gave him another baby stiff arm. He likes Skittles. Yeah, he likes a lot. I like him too. But like, I don't know. My favorite part of it is watching or seeing Will Arnett break because he, I mean, part of the show is scripted okay. around the celebrity that's coming in. Oh, all right. And the celebrity and Will are basically like the only improv people. But Will's like lines are basically set for him unless he actually has to say something to Conan. Okay. Like improvish, I guess. And like watching Will Arnett like break and laugh under whatever he just said is fucking hilarious. I love it. Fucking Well, that is very interesting. Please tell me gob. more. You're an asshole. <laughs> All right, that might be for Hayes. No. No, no, no. No. I'm just kidding. Uh, it was fun, though. It was fun. I yeah. Think there's like eight episodes or something it. like yeah. that. Another one. Did I tell you about After Party? After Party. Yeah, I told you about it. It's another murder who done it type deal. With uh, Sam Robinson. Um, is this one I asked is going to be on like uh, Steve, Steve uh, Martin and no, Martin Short? No, that's uh, Only Murders in the Building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was another series that sounded just like it. Yeah. Yep. On Apple. That's After Party? Yeah, pretty okay. much. That was good. Okay. I told you about it last week, though. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's whatever. <sighs> <laughs> all right. You just took all the wind out of my sails again. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm um, sorry. I've got a... Oh, Juggernaut? Or not Juggernaut. God damn it, Peacemaker. Have you watched Peacemaker? I have. Did you like it? I enjoy it yeah? quite a bit. How far are you? I think only two episodes then. Okay. It's pretty good, though. Like, it's good. It's John Cena very is worth the watch. It's very enjoyable. Yes. It's, very a, it's enjoyable. a very well written show. Yeah, right. It is. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> I've been also watching uh, Righteous Gemstones, which is also on HBO Max, just like mm. Peacemaker. I didn't enjoy the first season that much, ah. but I'm still kind of like, I'll probably watch it at some point, but I'm... It's a great show. I'm There's waiting. So, the way he writes, the way, uh, what's his face? Danny McBride. Danny McBride writes lines for yeah. them to say. Just the way this the way things are worded that you like instead of saying suck my, suck my dick, mm. he'll say something like sucketh upon my penis or something like that. And the way it's deli- it's just it's just good stuff. Wow, that is interesting. <laughs> Please it's tell boring. me more. Great story, compelling and rich. I'm lying that it was actually kind of <sighs> interesting. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. You wish you had the drop machine to play that drop. I do. Game. I should get oh, your own drop machine. Yeah, we could have a a dual drop off. Drop, dual oh. drop uh, off. Yeah, drop off. You want to hand me another beer, guy? Fuck you. I didn't have any more. Uh, I'm gonna get drunk. Uh, uh, no like beer. No, beer. No. Beer. Beer is good. Oh, so uh, whatever. Um, I've got oh. a mom that. Uh, <laughs> That you might like to date. Uh-oh. Your mom? Is single? No. Nope. Uh, this is a different mom. Is it your mom's mom? Is your grandma upstairs? Her name is... Uh, it's, it's a British woman that believes that size matters. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She doesn't want to date me. No. No, 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 no. Uh, she's 34. Her name is Tracy Kiss. She's stunned. That was, my, that was a kiss noise. That was a loud one. She stunned her family and friends after having a ruler tattoo inked down her forearm so she could accurately measure the length of her prospective partner's penises. Perspective. Perspective. Sorry. You're good. Uh, uh, that's really hot. Is there a picture of her? Is she uh, gorgeous? If she's gorgeous, then fucking do whatever you want. But if she's not... Then do whatever you want, because you're a woman, and you are entitled to live your life, girl. This is uh, this is the rule. It's just a bunch of dots. Oh. Well. What do you think about her, though? I, yeah, I would definitely take yeah, her I out on a date. No, yeah. no, 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 Ben. Stop. I'd take her out for a couple nights out on the town. You know, Ooh, she's showing a cucumber on her hand that measures to be six inches. She'd shoot some texts back and forth. You know, laugh a little bit, send a little LOLs. Here, Although the you know, tattoo does not include any numbers, instead featuring pretty dots, it looks cooler though. Like they're spaced an inch apart. That's very cool. I like that actually, <laughs> because it's not an actual ruler; it's just dots, so it can be it t- totally just decorative. It could know? just be dots, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, these are my years of sobriety on on my arm. Like, okay, yeah. that's cool. That's what she says. She says, uh, as it doesn't have any numbers, it's actually rather discreet and allows me to innocently reach up to stroke a man's stomach while taking a glance at my arm alongside it to count the inches. That's not exactly what I said, but that's why well, you, you kind of jumped off of what I said and you're like, yeah, that's what is yeah, written I, down yeah, here. Yeah. And then that I wasn't what was written down wherever you're reading that Yikes. from. Whoopsie. Oh my God. We need to start citing our sources. <laughs> that is true. Wow. I'm going to cite my source on your cite cock. It, oh, uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Set my sights on your cock. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's cool. It's something people, people ugh, may not think about when shaking my hand and won't look out of place in a nursing home when I'm 90. Shake, 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 Senora. Shake, come on. And I, but shake, will always shake, put a smile shake, on senora. my face shake, and senora. twinkle in my eye. Twinkle, hey, twinkle, little hey, star. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, listen to this. You'll like this. I'm listening. Tracy Kiss, who said she also has a high libido and once had sex 11 times in one day. I've I've once masturbated 12 in one day. Whoa. Wait, what? 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 I said what? You masturbated how many times in one day? 12 times? Get the fuck out of here. To completion? Oh, of course. How would it just be nothing but dust? Yeah, after about five, it just it kind of stopped. After out. two, no, after five, jeez, five times it took to dry up, but I still got the end result. You know, damn. 
Oh, here's her showing measuring with a water bottle along her side of her arm. Did you see that gullible was written on your ceiling? Oh, no, okay. I did not see okay, that. I got you. All right, let's... Uh... Whoa! Who is this a picture of? This is her! Naked? <gasps> In lingerie, holy shit, oh she God. is hot to try. I would respectfully ask her out if that's how I would start things, oh, you know? Just, like, uh, hey, uh, I noticed that uh, you were... Uh, no, I'm bad at pickup lines. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so am I, yeah, you know, like, uh, how do you break the ice? You put a polar bear on. I have no idea. <laughs> You suck <laughs> dick at telling that joke. <laughs> How do you break the ice? You yeah. put a polar bear on it, Ben? Yeah, something like no, that. No, no, no. It's something like that. Hey, uh, question for you. What? Um, how much does a polar bear weigh? Oh, enough to break the ice. You're not supposed <laughs> to say it? Wait, how much? Enough to break the ice. Hi, I'm oh, Brett. Oh, hey. How about this one? Don't uh, shake my hand. COVID. I mean, I don't ask one. Don't how shake about my this hand. One? COVID. My love for you is like diarrhea. It's hard to hold it in. That's professing. Hi, my name is Ben. <laughs> professing love at first yeah. sight. Uh, I mean, look at her body. Did you see that thing? Holy yeah. moly. I don't think she's going to respect you at all if you come what? at her like that. Definitely not. What are some other good pickup lines? Um, hi. How's it going? <laughs> Women love that one, right? Hi, how's it going? Worst... Hey, what are you up to? Pickup lines. 55 worst pickup lines. Let's see. Oh, God. We have time. We have time. Somebody call the cops because it's got to be illegal to look that good. Oh. Oof. D- did that hurt? No. Did what? Yeah. That's what, what it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. We need to start hanging out more often. If we're, you were a vegetable, together. you'd be a cucumber. <sighs> Hi-oh. Oh, God. No, no, no. Um, I got one. I got one. I got one. What? Oh, damn. What's that? What's that woman's name? If you were a vegetable, you'd be that one woman who was a vegetable. And Oh, Terry Schiavo? <laughs> yeah. If you were a vegetable, you'd be Terry Schiavo. That's horrible. Absolutely. That would not. That's That's... That's why it's one of the I'm worst. I'm Debra Hengel. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to cut that out probably. No. Yeah, that you're right. Good. I like that. <laughs> Are you an orphanage? Because I want to give you kids. Oh. That's too forward. Oh, I got one. I got one. Off, off of that, um, you trying to get pregnant? Because I got sperm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a pickup line? Yeah. Where'd you hear that? Did you just come uh, up with that on no, the No, like, yeah. Is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. Ooh, I like off of that one. Uh, um, Is that a mirror in your pocket? No, it's the mirror that I'm using in my hand to look up your skirt. <laughs> Hi-yo! <laughs> You're just dropping beers left and right. Got to keep checking to make sure we're recording because I'm loving this podcast. Shut the hell up. Keep going. Would you grab my arm so I can tell my friends I've been touched by an angel? Oh, I got one off that. What? Would you grab my arms? Too bad you can't. I don't have any. <laughs> what do you call a man with no arms and no legs hanging on the wall? A quadriplegic? Art. Oh, <laughs> art. Yeah. What do you call a man with no arms and no legs laying in a hole? Phil. <laughs> what do you call a man with no arms and no legs in the lake? Huh. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. What do you call two men with no arms and no legs hanging on the wall? Uh. Kurt and Rod. <laughs> so uh, stupid. I don't like that one. I didn't like that. Or right, it's supposed to be hanging on the window. Uh, there you go. <laughs> That's why it didn't make any yeah, sense exactly. to me. Yeah, I was like, Kurt and Rod. Yeah. It's like Kurt Russell and Rod Stewart? No, what? Kurt and Rod. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, oh, stop, stop with those ones. They're horrible. Okay. Please. Okay. Oh, my God. Are you banana? Because you are very appealing. Oh, I got one That's off terrible. that. I got That's one terrible. off that. 
What? Is that a banana in my pocket? No, it's my cock. <laughs> Good God. Hi, I'm Brett. <laughs> if you were a transformer, you'd be Optimus Fine. Oh. That's terrible. Yeah, I got one off of that, though. Fine is even right If you want to hear it. Okay. Are you transvestite? Because you look like a transvestite. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, though. Hashtag, I'm Brett. Nice to meet you. Hashtag, Can I... gender's cool. Yeah, cool, cool. Live your best life. Hashtag, I'm on by L Y B L L Y B L. Live your life? Live your best life. Ooh. L Y B L. Hashtag. Ooh, let's make that a... Let's make that a thing. Live your best life? Yeah, L Y B L. Did you just come up with that? Yeah, I just came up with that. No! Yeah, I did. No. Yes, I ha. Huh? No. No. Yeah. No. No. no Whoa! No. You got itchy trick finger, home boy. No. 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 But. No. Poop. No. Poop. No. Poop. Poop a dee scoop. <laughs> Poop a dee scoop a dee whoop. Okay, was your father an alien? Because there's nothing else like you on Earth. That one's stupid. I don't have anything for okay. you. Okay. How about uh? Can you take off your clothes so I can see where you hide your angel wings? Ooh, how about um, you? Can you take off your clothes so I can see your pussy? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, that one's really Grandma. dirty. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, God, can yeah. you imagine asking saying "grandma" after all these? Oh yeah, I could. <laughs> I couldn't help noticing hey, that you grandma. look a lot like my next girlfriend, Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> yeah, that That's makes so it. Bad. I'm it's a, like adding uh, in in your bed uh, to after like uh, fortune cookies. Yeah, it only adds about three percent chub though. That's true, three percent. Are money. you French? Because Eiffel for you, I fell Ooh. for you. I got one. Are you French? <clears throat> I'm gonna Eiffel Tower the fuck out of you later with my buddy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like sorry, oh, that was. Yeah. That's not how I actually like to talk to women, you know? I grew up in a house full of women, so. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only Tennessee. Yeah. Are you from Michigan? Because that's a great fucking state, and I love it. I'm going to take it's off my mitten and stick my hand up your skirt. Whoa. Ooh. If I flip this coin, what are the chances of me getting head? <laughs> That's the best one I've heard from that list, though, really. It is. That's definitely not something that you'd want to say to somebody, though. Are you a parking ticket? Because you got fine written all over you. Oh. No, I got it. All I right. got one off that. Are you a parking ticket? Because you look expensive as fuck. <laughs> okay. uh, I must be in a museum because you truly are a work of art. Ooh, I got one off of that. It's a... Uh, uh, I must be in a museum because you look old as hell, Grandma. <laughs> uh, do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk by again? Oh, that one's stupid. Get it out of here. All Scratch right. that one. Oh, here we go. Here, This is well, this is where it's getting Poop. Uh, exciting. Poop. Is this the Poop. Hogwarts Express? <laughs> because it feels like you and I are headed somewhere magical. Do you... <laughs> Do you like Star Wars? Because Yoda only one for me. Yoda only one for me. Huh. Uh, whoa, I got one. I got one. What? I got one. Do you like Star Wars? Because Boba Fett sucks. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Except yeah. for the past two episodes where the Mandalorian has basically been in it the whole time and Boba that's Fett's what somebody on twitter not even me. really been in it and wait it's seriously been the best fucking two it's episodes about of the series the mandalorian it's it's had mando in it the past two and it's like okay. way more interesting here we go way more plot to it than than whatever the fuck boba fett is trying to get across message on twitter if you liked the mandalorian you need to watch episode five and six and probably seven of boba fett Fett isn't in five at all in less than five minutes in episode six. Yeah. They are more like Mandalorian episodes. So much better. In other words, the last three episodes are basically the Mandalorian season 2.5. Thank God. Ugh. Oh, shit. I need to check that out. It's true, though. You should watch those. I should. Yeah, I like the Mandalorian. I think you can honestly get away with watching both of them. Without having without watched watching the first four parts or whatever. Okay. All right. 
Oh, yeah. What are you uh, looking at? You, you know uh, what you would look beautiful in? Um, My arms. Oh, Grandma. Uh, I really like that one, actually. Can I, can I steal that? Can Your hand that? looks heavy. Can I hold it for you? Ooh, I got one off that. What's that? <sighs> My dick is heavy. Can you hold it for me? Yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Nice. Air five. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> you gotta clap. make. You gotta make the noise. Hold on. Oh, you said clap. That's cool. <laughs> oh wow! Ouch! <laughs> that one hurt, dude. Ow! 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 Oh. Um. Are you a dictionary? Because you're adding meaning to my life. If I were a cat. Oh. <laughs> Just jumps through another one. If I were a cat, <laughs> I'd spend all nine lives with you. All right, I got one. I got one. If, are you a dictionary? Because I've got a, a dog that's probably good for you. What? That doesn't make any sense. Exactly. I jumped are to another one. Are you a dictionary? Because... My Shanari's got a dick for you. Ooh. That doesn't even make any sense. No, it doesn't. These Okay, they're starting to sound like your Twitter jokes right now. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Do you ever get tired from running through my mind all night? Oh, my God, yes. I believe in following my dreams. Can I have your Instagram? That one, what? A boo. That one's horrible. That sounds like a fucking Ben joke. I've heard that language, that... I've heard it said that kissing is the language of love. Would you care to have a conversation with me about it sometime? Kiss. Yeah. That's right. That's right, Gene. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Uh, potential spam is calling me. Ooh. Answer it. Put them on. I was wondering if you're an artist because you were so good at drawing in me. Or drawing me in. <laughs> Damn it, I screwed that one up. Just like I would oh do God. if I did it in person. You are the worst. I'm glad that your girlfriend's supportive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just kidding. So, an Ohio couple claimed that a fertility doctor used sperm from a stranger during the 1991 insemination procedure that resulted in the birth of their daughter. Ooh, I got one off that. What? If I could go back in time, I'd throw my sperm in you. Ooh, yeah. Hucking in your dumper. I'd literally... About the jacket. I would just go in my hand and I'd throw it right in you. Yeah. It's like, open wide, chica. Yeah, open those legs. Ben. That was disgusting. I okay. Piss so bad. Well, let's wrap it up then. No, we can't wrap it up yet. Yeah. Oh, I guess we, we're pretty What's close. That? Uh, Janine and John my Mountain Dew bottle. No, said they learned their daughter Jessica was not biologically related to her father after a DNA t- DNA test showed no genetic relation between the two. So they could technically make out. It says that's her. true. About thirty years ago, my husband and I went to a, went to see a fertility doctor for help seeking a baby. Myrtle, Myrtle. Our goal couldn't have been clearer. We wanted a child who was genetically related to both of us. I went underwent uh, the what? vitro fertilization. That sounds incestuous. With the understanding that Mike's genetic materials would be used sperm would be used <laughs> cum would be used, ejaculate uh, would be used in this procedure. Mayonnaise. Without <laughs> your, our knowledge. The family said it learned of the botched procedure when they bought Jessica DNA. DNA why can't I say DNA? A DNA test. <laughs> I thought you were trying to say her last name. <laughs> ahead, nope. Ahead of her trip to <laughs> Europe in 2020. Okay. Damn. Ooh, what part of Europe? How cool we thought it'd be co- cool to connect with distant relatives in countries that we were visiting. Mm-hmm. She expected to see her father's Italian heritage represented in her test but instead found out she was Irish, English, German, Welsh, and French. There were, are no words to express what I have been through, what my parents have been through, and I am in total disbelief and probably always will be. Oh, no. It sounds like typical you. At this point, we have not met with the family or conducted testing of our own, given the very limited information 
that we have in the amount of time that has passed, it remains our hope that the attorneys representing the family will work with us to make the next step a priority. Uh, oh, Jessica said she tracked down her biological father through Ancestry.com. And Hot. Genealogists. Not 23 and me? No. Hired a, her uh, by her lawyer and confirmed that the man gave sperm to her family to inseminate his wife. Mm. On the same day, the Harveys were in the office. Yummy. They said the fam- or the family says that they hope that their lawsuit will lead to federal oversight of the fertility industry. Bam, bam, bam. Well, no, just play the drop again. That's fine. So there was a man. This is not related. Ooh, I love it. Just like those people aren't related. Boom, oh, damn. Oh, wow. Tie-in. You are just... You are on a roll, aren't you? This one, this, this one killed me because uh, an Iowa, Iowa man was sentenced to life in prison. Boring state. After killing his friend. Well, what else is there to do out there besides fucking pick potatoes? In a fight over oh, that's mayonnaise. Idaho. God damn it. Oh, you missed it. Iowa has corn, doesn't it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please say it again. I'm, I really do apologize. An Iowa man was sentenced to life behind bars for the murder of a friend. He repeatedly ran over with a pickup truck after a fight about mayonnaise. Ma- mayonnaise? <laughs> yeah, mayo. I just said the word mayonnaise. I know you did. It's that was a, the ultimate teaser. Yeah. You should have tied uh, that story in when I said it, though. I should have. You should have jumped to that story instead of whatever the fuck you just told me. Christopher... Now 29, (laughs) used his truck to ram Caleb Mm -hmm. outside a cafe in the small town of Pisgah. But, pardon? (laughs) Say that again for me? Christopher initially Uh, drove away. Oh, Pisgah. 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 P-I-S-G-A-H. Pisgah. 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 Uh, Christopher initially drove away, then came back and ran over Caleb two more times, according to the register. What the fuck? The two men had been out drinking at a bar with another person earlier in the night nearby Moorhead. Oh, I'd like to what get about Moorhead. Less head, Grandma. Oh, uh, oh God. Hi. But things took a turn mm-hmm. when Christopher spread mayo on Caleb's food, which riled. Caleb and sparked a fight. Oh gosh! A furious Christopher called Caleb's half brother Craig. This is getting too many names involved. Caleb on the Craig, way to Christopher the, on the way to the cafe <laughs> and threatened to set Caleb's house on fire Caleb. and shoot him. Shh, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Craig <laughs> later came to Pisgah. Pisgah. Where another confrontation was brewing. Ooh, just like it's, it's, it's a bar. Yeah, the brill. Christopher's first blow. Oh, Christopher eventually rammed his truck into Craig's, then rammed Caleb. Christopher, cool. see, I'm doing this all. What oh, makes it God. terrible is because it. they start using all last names. Oh, my God. So I'm God. trying to remember Christopher, Craig, and Caleb's last name. You just do. That's what makes it just terrible. Just do the Robert Downey and just some. Just one dude, another dude, the dude playing another dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, you just do that. What is? How does it go? I'm the dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. Ah, no, it's... yeah, that's it. It is that, but that is it. That wasn't the right um, accent. Yeah, it was. I'm gonna terrible. just stop though. I'm gonna stop there. I'm the dude. <laughs> that's not it either. Nah. I forgot his name. What was it? Uh, Troy. Troy. I knew it. Hey. Please, please stop reading the story. I'm at the Brahenglaze. Hey, shut up. Please stop reading the story. It's horrible. It was a fight over mayonnaise, and he drove him over with his truck three Good times. Riddance. He rammed him, just like the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Go Rams. Go Rams, but we'll talk before that point. We will? Oh, that's right. We have Jesus another episode. Christ. Son of a bitch. That's right. It's oh, not this weekend. Oh, my Lord. You are the worst. Oh, before we go. Okay, you're the one that has to pee, so keep going if you want. I'm down. 
Wait, should we say this for next episode? Oh, 30 probably. weird Valentine's gifts your sweetheart will be sweet on? Yes, definitely, because the next episode would be closer to Valentine's Day. I'm not even going to do this Douche. one. I mean, look at this. It's a box of chocolates where the girl Shut dresses. The f- I'm not playing that it's game. It's like a Halloween you. costume. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, skip that one. Skip that. Fuck that article. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the Ben Glaze. Follow me for Twitter jokes that are stupid <sighs> as hell. God, maybe oh. some comedy dates that'll be coming up. Literally... I'm going to record a comedy album, even oh, in spite of what Brett says. It's going to be awesome. It's called Oh Boy. Um, oh Boy. It's <laughs> uh, the worst taste in my mouth right now. Uh, you you just... I literally had to, to unfriend you on Twitter earlier. Oh Boy. Wow, was... Why? You had to unfriend me on Twitter? You unfriended me on Twitter? I did, yeah. Oh, Lord! Lord! Bagel, I'm at bagel, the Brett Hayes. Bagel tear? What did he H A Z E. Oh, Lord! <laughs> what is that? Bagel, bagel, bagel tear. <laughs> what did it refer to? What is that? I remember it was a funny video online with the the guy in the wheelchair, and then there's fireworks. Oh my god! Yeah. Back up, back You're up, the bagel, bagel, fucking war. Bagel Stop! I'm the dude tear? playing another dude disguised as another you dude. You said it wrong. Ah, damn it! Bye, fuckers. <laughs>